Hello and welcome, this is Master Wu. First of all, allow me to demonstrate two different roundhouse kicks that we are going to take a look at in this video. First example is this. You lift your leg up and completely turn and to kick completely horizontally. You can use an instep or ball of foot, doesn't really matter. Like that. Second example is this. Lift your leg almost vertically straight up and manipulate your leg by twisting a little bit and extend to kick it. Alright, now let's take a look at the difference between these two kicks. First example, this kick often used for demonstration for power breaking and traditionally we practice the roundhouse kick in this way. And if you are able to perform this kick with speed, then you will be able to create most powerful kick. Alright, now let's take a look at the second example. This dolyo chagi refer to bandal chagi. This kick is developed specifically for the gyorugi, which is you are able to throw the kick much faster than first example, but you may not able to kick as powerful as as strong as previous. So which kick should you practice and use it? I guess this all depends on the situation. Uh, if you are going to uh, use it for the breaking, for the demonstration, power break, and you can choose the first method. Also you can choose, depends on the hardness of the uh, target. You can choose to kick with the instep or ball of foot. You can decide how you want to do it. And if you are going to use it in sparring, sparring is, speed is the most concern, right? Uh, most important thing is you are able to deliver the kick before your partner step away. Uh, rather than just choosing the power, you know, power, if you are not able to deliver the impact to the target, that means you have no power, zero power. So you can just choose, they can kick much faster than our previous example. <laughs>